my sweet Lord, mm, my Lord, mm, my Lord. I really want to see you, I really want to be with you, I really want to see you love, but it takes so long, my It's going to be a guitar lesson for My Sweet Lord by George Harrison off the All Things Must Pass album. What a masterpiece. Let's just get right into the lesson. I have the guitar in standard tuning. I do have a capo on the second fret that is purely optional. You can play this really one of two ways, really. Uh, you can play it without a capo in the key of F sharp minor, and then you're going to play a lot of bar chords, and that's fine. Or if you want to simplify things a little bit, you can put a capo on the second fret and play in an E minor shape which obviously would be F sharp minor key. Um, and that's how I'm gonna teach the lesson. So I'm gonna break the song into three parts. Uh, we'll start with um, the first part, obviously, uh, the iconic introduction. Um, it's just an E minor to an A. I mean, I think this is, almost everybody recognizes this. Go to a D, to a B minor, we'll play a full bar chord there, but that's optional. You can play it open. I like the bass, so full B minor, bar chord, D, back to B minor, to a D, and now we have an iconic George Harrison diminished chord. It's in so many of George's uh, songs. Uh, so we just play it at the first fret four and two, and second fret three and one. So that shape. Again, very, very often used by George Harrison, very frequent chord he goes to. Um, here, we have it here. And then you, if you want to just slide your finger over on the fifth string to the second fret, and it becomes basically a B7. So you're in the diminished at the first fret, and then add and make it a B7, which takes you right back into the E minor. So let's do the first part one more time. So it's E minor to A, E minor, to A, now we'll go to a D, B minor, D, B minor, now a D, now the diminished, B7, B7, back to E minor. So that's it, that's part one. Now part two is the transition where we're going to do a key change because basically what we're doing, we're going up a full step, um, which would be two frets on the guitar, a full step. Um, originally in the key, well, forget the capo, it's an F sharp minor to a G sharp minor, but with the capo, it's going to be an E minor to an F sharp minor. So again, we'll do the lesson with the capo, not to confuse things. So the second part of the song, the transition part, it's I really want to see you, you're going to go play a D chord, D. Really want to 
wanna see you, D7, D7. Really wanna see you, Lord. I'm gonna play a B, a bar chord B. You could play a B7 open, but uh, I like the bar chord B there. Really wanna see you, Lord, but it takes so long, my Lord. All right, and that will take us into the third part. So let's go through this. I really wanna see you, D. Pretty straightforward. Really wanna see you, D7. Really wanna see you, Lord, B. Really want to see you, Lord E. Now we're going to go, we're going to be transitioning to the um, next key. We're going to go up. We're going to take that diminished chord on the first fret and slide it up two frets, like I said, to the third fret and play it there. And then you could do the same finger over, um, which would be a C sharp seventh, basically. Or you could play a full C sharp seven if you like it, just a C seven shape moved up to the second fret. Um, but either way to an F sharp. So one last time on the, the second part, the transition part. D. Really want to see you, D7. Really want to see you, Lord. That's a B. Now go to an E, the diminish at the third fret with the C sharp seventh. Now in the third part of the song, you're going to go to an F sharp minor. Now we've done the full step key change. Bar chord. To a B, F sharp minor to B, F sharp minor to B. Now we're going to go to an E major open, C sharp minor barred on the fourth fret, back to E major, C sharp minor, E major. Now this is the diminished chord at the third, C sharp seventh, back to the F sharp minor to B. My sweet Lord, ooh, my Lord. I think I'll end it there, folks, because everything else is repetitive after that. Um, it's just a marvelous masterpiece of a song by George Harrison. Uh, remember, you could either play it with the capo and just play in an E minor shape or without the capo, F F sharp minor bar chord basically um, is the other way to play it. Uh, there are probably other ways, but those are the two most common ways. Um, great song. Everybody knows this. Everybody loves to sing the Alleluia background, the Hare Krishna. So uh, definitely a song if you don't have it in, in your arsenal of, of pub sing-alongs and campfire songs to have there. Uh, just a masterpiece. I'm just... So excited we're getting the 50th anniversary of um, All Things Must Pass now. So I just want to pay a little tribute, a little more George Harrison tribute for my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all soon. Take care.